Are you a little bit perplexed on how to wear boots with all of these new jean styles that we are seeing this year? We have definitely had a lot of you asking that question, so we decided to create the ultimate guide to styling jeans and boots in 2024. So stay tuned because we've got so much good information to share with you. So we are going to first start off with slim straight jeans. So they are not skinny jeans. They are also not super relaxed and baggy jeans. They are right in that sweet spot. So what you'll notice is that with a slim straight jean, you're gonna be able to maintain all of your curves, but the hem at the bottom is definitely going to have a looser fit around the ankle, which is perfect for when you are styling them with boots. So in the past, we used to have a sliver of skin about an inch or so that would be in between the bottom of your jean and the top of your boot. But now that is definitely not the trend anymore. We are for sure having all of the jean covering over the shaft of the boot. So as you can see in this outfit, I have styled my absolute favorite slim straight jeans in this medium wash with this black pointed ankle boot. So as you can see, the jean is completely covering over this gorgeous pointed toe black boot and none of the skin is showing the shaft fits perfectly underneath the hem because that ankle has a bit of room in there really allowing enough room for that boot shaft to fit inside of there but because the jeans are a bit more fitted I decided to style them with a looser baggier top so this is a black and white striped zipper pullover it has a looser chunkier feel and because it's a loose, little bit looser and the jean is a little bit tighter it definitely creates a very balanced look so this is such an easy way to really style those slim straight jeans Okay, so moving right along to jean number two, this jean I wanted to share with you is a cropped straight leg jean. So when you're dealing with a straight leg jean, that's a jean that definitely has like a little bit more relaxed feel to it, not quite as fitted in the legs and thighs, definitely a little bit wider at the ankle. And this one is cropped. So around ankle length, I would say, I did um, cut these myself, they have a raw hem. So depending on what you choose and also depending on your inseam, yours could be a little bit more cropped or a little bit less cropped, but cropped is definitely on trend. And I wanted to talk about how to wear a cropped jean with boots. So this really will apply whether you're wearing a straight cropped jean or even something like a kick boot crop jean would also work. And when you're wearing these cropped jeans, what you're going to want to do in 2024 is look for a boot with a higher shaft. So this particular pair is a square toe leather boot. I love these, they're very like modern looking, but this could work on all different styles of boots, whether you're looking for something with more of like a cowboy style or just a leather or suede boot, but you're gonna wanna have a shaft that's long enough to go up your leg just enough so that the jeans can cover right over it. So definitely in the past we would have seen you know some leg exposed, but in 2024, definitely not seeing that at all. You're definitely going to want higher boot with your cropped jeans. So with this particular pair I'm wearing my favorite jeans these are by mother jeans these are a great traditional straight leg jean definitely have a looser fit and I just paired them with this turtleneck classic sweater in this beautiful white shade gave it a little front tuck to balance out the proportions and show a little bit of waistline and these great boots that have a little bit of like a sock booty style so that makes it even easier for them to fit right underneath the jeans and really create that modern look and I wanted to go ahead and share with you what I'm wearing today because this is actually a great shirt to style with jeans and boots. And this is a Henley by the brand Free People. I picked this one up in a cream color during one of our Nordstrom hauls and I liked it so much I went back and got this beautiful vibrant pink shade. So it's just a great casual Henley style top. I really enjoy it. And for my jewelry today, I have on my little teardrop earrings that I've shared with you guys tons of times. I love these. They're a great dupe look for less and my Tory Burch two-tone watch that I have been wearing like crazy and styled along with that I have a couple of chain link bracelets one of them is mixed metal with gold and silver the other one is more traditional gold with a little bit of some different chain in between and I have a chunky gold ring on so that is my look for today. 
So before we begin, I wanted to share my top and jewelry with you. I am wearing a black and white striped cable knit sweater. I love this one. I definitely think it has a very preppy kind of vibe to it. And I just styled it with a knotted a stud earring along with a gold knotted ring and a knotted bracelet. So we're definitely seeing this knotted trend hitting in a huge way in 2024. So moving along to the next jean. The next jean that we're going to be styling and showing you are straight leg jeans. So these are a streamline jean. You're not going to have any kind of hugging along the thigh or along the calf. It's definitely going to give a nice, loose, relaxed feel right from the hip down to the ankle, which makes them very easy to style. So in this one, I'm wearing my favorite White House Black Market straight leg jeans. These are in a medium wash. It's an easy color to really wear all year round. And because it's a straight leg jean, it's also easy to style with boots. For this one, I just took a navy cropped uh, sweater, v-neck sweater to style with it. It doesn't have a super tight uh, fit to it. And because it's a little bit looser, I also needed to pay attention to the toe shape of the boot. So for this one, you can see that I'm styling it with a cognac boot that doesn't have a pointed toe. This has more of an almond shaped toe. So if I had styled it with a rounded cognac boot, it definitely would give a more casual kind of look. If I styled it with a pointed toe ankle boot, it would have given a, given a more elevated type of look. But because because I wanted to keep it somewhat casual, but yet somewhat elevated and really elongate that legs, these almond shaped toe boots really are just a great option for you. So if you're someone who has a lot of casual wear, you also have a lot of elevated stuff and you need a boot that's gonna really kind of translate with both, definitely consider getting an almond shaped boot like this one because it really will be a super versatile style toe that you can wear with so many different pieces in your wardrobe and the fact that the shaft also fits perfectly underneath the straight leg jeans really will give just a very modern feel to your look in 2024. Okay, so this next jean trend may arguably be the most popular jean trend of the season, and that is the wide leg jean. So this wide leg jean trend has really taken off, but I know that for a lot of us, it's also the most challenging one to wear. So I was very happy to find this pair that I absolutely love by Mother Jeans. These are a wide leg jean, but there's something about them that makes them a little bit different in their fit, where they definitely have like a little bit more fitted top of the jean and even a little bit through the hips and then they get looser as they go but you still get that very wide leg trend to this jean so if you're looking for a great pair I definitely recommend this pair no matter what wide leg jean you choose you're gonna want to think about the boots that you pair with them and for me I really prefer to have a very sleek pointed toe boot when I'm wearing wide leg jeans and I think it's because that very wide leg jean can give a very casual vibe even leaning into frumpy especially if you are petite like myself and a mature woman you really have to balance out that wide leg with something that's a little bit more elongating a little bit more um, polished and I think that this pointed toe boot is perfect to really do that so the pointed toe is automatically going to elongate the legs and really help to balance it out I love this beautiful cognac color but whether you're choosing a black or a tan or any neutral really would work but look for a boot that has this pointed toe slender kind of vibe to it rather than a very like chunky rounded toe boot which definitely can lead into like a frumpier look so as always we will have everything linked down below everything that is currently available or something very similar in case you're looking for anything but yeah these are a really hot jean trend and this is a great way to pair them with ankle boots so next we're gonna talk about flare jeans now flare jeans are gonna be a bit more fitted 
through the hips and the thighs. Some of them are going to have a more exaggerated flare starting at the knee going down to the ankle and others are going to have a more moderate flare. So it really doesn't matter how large or how moderate that flare is. Basically you're going to have a lot of volume down by your ankles. So the flare jeans that I am wearing today are a light wash flare jean that has a raw hem. I think that this is actually a great feature to have on it because if it's a little bit too long it's easy to then really cut them and adjust them to the perfect length for you. I love the fact that it's also a light wash. This is a color that is super versatile. You really can wear it all year round. So the one thing I would definitely tell you if you guys have not seen any of our other videos is when you are wearing a flare jean, really make sure that you are wearing a more fitted top because you have a lot of volume down by the ankles. It's super important to have a more fitted top to maintain that balance. If you have something that's very loose and overwhelming on top, you can definitely lean more into that like frumpier kind of look and that's not what we want. So because we're being strategic here, here you can see that I've styled my light wash flare jeans with a fitted black turtleneck. I also had to pay attention to the boot. So because we have some volume that's down by the ankle in these flare jeans, which make honestly styling boots very, very easy, you really want to pay attention to the shape of the boot. And for this one, I selected a pointed toe boot. So as you can see, the pointed toe helps to elongate the foot and elongate the body. So because you have that extra volume down there, if you were to style it with a rounded toe boot, it can also make it very challenging and even frumpy looking. Some women might be able to pull this off if they are of a certain height or if they maybe have a very slender build, but I would say that for the majority of women, it would be very challenging. So when you are styling flare jeans, really make sure to remember a more fitted top styled along with a very pointed toe boot. This will help to balance your shape and also really elongate your body. Okay, so this last jean is probably the most controversial pair of all, and that is the skinny jean. So yes, you heard me right, ladies. We're going to share with you some skinny jeans because a lot of you were smart enough to hold on to them, keeping those high boots in mind. Now, of course, we live in South Florida where we don't really have a lot of opportunities to wear knee-high or over-the-knee style boots, but if you do live in colder climates and you are wearing these things, then you've probably already figured out that skinny jeans are the only jeans that will work with these kinds of boots. So we wanted to share with you how you're going to style these. And I would say that really for 2024 trends, as of right now, this is really the only way that I think skinny jeans can still look modern and current is if you're styling them with some boots, you're going to want the skinny jeans to go inside of the boots. So all of the other jeans we were sharing with you, you know, obviously the theme was that the jeans go over the boots. Skinny jeans really are the exception with these higher boots. So I wanted to show you how I styled mine. I actually did have to go out and pick up a new pair because I didn't think about saving them for this purpose, but this is a great one if you're looking for a pair of skinny jeans. I styled it first with these knee-high boots, which I love these boots with dresses, but they also work really well with your skinny jeans. So the skinny jeans fit right into the boot, or also with a mid-calf height boot. So this is a really fun pair that I recently picked up. It has like this fold over, very modern type of vibe to it. And I thought it was really cute, but it's another style of jeans where you need a very slim, skinny jean to fit right into the boots. So this is definitely the exception for how you're gonna style boots in 2024. If you've been hanging on to those skinny jeans and you wanna know how to wear them, this is how you're going to do it. Okay, ladies, we hope you found this video super helpful and got some great inspiration for how to style your jeans and boots. And if you're looking for more great content to watch, make sure you check out our latest Amazon haul. We've got so many good pieces over there to share with you, and we'll catch you in the next video.